to the locker room. Ray's already started tonight. Sorry. What an absolutely brilliant <laughs> weekend of football we were treated to. As for my panel, they were also on form at the weekend. Ray changed the words to the Barca anthem. Well, you know, I was just having a bit of a mess around in that. I said me apologies to Andrea Gomes before I got the hate mail. I was just a little bit of kidding okay. around. Okay, Christian Vieri called the referee in the Atleti Hatafe game horrible. No. Yeah, I wanted to say worse things, but I couldn't. You can. Worse are things. Okay. Worse, are Worse things. Is, it, you can, is that right English? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, good yeah, English. Good English. English. That's, English. English. That's, that's just how he was feeling, okay? <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Rungan choked somebody on the exit. Yeah, I, I, I choked uh, Tank. Yeah, oh, don't blame him. Don't blame him. Funny. funny, he goes, he comes on. I'm, I'm going to show you how to defend. He goes, uh, choke, we choke, we choke. You know what? That's ready. This is what choking is. <laughs> hey, Kill them. High five uh, for that. High five Mateo for that. Mateo Bonetti started dissing little kids for dabbing at the Adkemio Frank. That, that was horrible. Paul Pollock must started this horrible revolution, dabbing. and now this kid did, did, had no idea what he was doing. That seriously bothered me on air, Thomas. Dab. It, it was I a thought of that. Yeah, I know. You like him. Um, is that a dad? It was anyway, like the little kid would he Before just we do get started, Ray just wants to tell us a story about his tie. Yeah, the only time I, I wear this beautiful tie that was sent to me by a lady called Diane, bless you, uh, is when Newcastle United win. And we won in the cup. Yeah. So I can't wow. wait to see who we get in the next round. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the first win to you. Middlesbrough. No, <laughs> no, it's not Middlesbrough. It's Chelsea. Good job, it's Whoa. not Middlesbrough. Yeah, so I'm taking this tie off right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. No, I know. They'll All not right. beat Chelsea. <laughs> okay, first up, Philippe Coutinho, officially a Barcelona player. He swapped Anfield for the camp now for a cool $192 million fee. Wow. Is that fee justifiable? Go on, Mario. You you start. want me to go on? Go on, Mario. What is justifiable anymore? You take a look at players that are for 80 million that never even made. He's he's basically worth four Andy Carroll. So in that sense, maybe he is justifiable as well. They're getting a player that can fill multiple positions. You can play him in the wing. You can play him in the midfield three. Ray doesn't have to deal with Andre Gomes yeah. anymore. And he solidifies that partnership that he had when Luis Suarez had his best ever season in the Premier League, that 31 goal season. Guess who was right there supplying him with all those balls? Philip Coutinho, yeah. that match made, and, and maybe Luis Suarez needs that more than anyone given that his recent slump this season. There was well, Jamie yeah, Easton right. saying as well that there was thinking from Barcelona that they can get him now at this price despite the fact he can't play in the Champions League because if he has a World great Cup. World Cup, Very good it could Kay make Murray. his price tag even yeah. higher. And he could shine in the World Cup, you're right. What do you mean he could what? shine? What? He, he could shine? Hey, he doesn't start for Brazil all the time. Yeah. William plays on the right, Coutinho comes off the bench to be real honest with you. I think it's a little bit of a luxury. I think they needed somebody else maybe a Verratti maybe a a what's that young kid again uh at, at, Artur that's oh, something good. they need yeah, because good. right now listen this last lineup Dembele Suarez Messi Iniesta Paulinho Rakitic Alba Sergi Vermont much you know what Busquets is not starting Paulinho all right it's not starting or or or, or, or sorry uh, in, in this particular uh, Busquets for some so you got to move somebody in mid you got to move two actually and the reason why Barca has been good, because they balance and their emphasis more on defense. You go with Coutinho, Iniesta, whatever, you can attack, you are going to be so vulnerable where, defensively. where does he fit? It seems as though we're getting into it. Where are you, who are you going to take out I, I to think, put him in? I think, you're absolutely right. I think they get him at the right price, and you look at Iniesta right now, he can rest a little bit more, and Coutinho will eventually become the playmaker. To go bigger, I said it yesterday, bold prediction. PSG going to buy Messi for 700 million next year, <laughs> and Coutinho is going to be the attacking midfielder. I've been gone a week, everything's changed. Go on, a week, huh? landed in the Wizard of Oz land with He's Thomas. putting Newcastle Ooh. ties, and you're talking about 700 million. Hey, What's the, on the, the thing about it is, it's a massive price, and uh, we've seen how special this player is. He's got a wonderful variety in his game, his passes, long, long range, short range, his combination. He is fantastic, um, but Thomas hits on some points, uh, in valid ones. How are they going to all be able to fit in the, on the pitch together? Um, we've seen Barcelona with players like Coutinho that have been absolutely imperious. He'll fit right in. He's a Barcelona type of player. And as good as he was at Liverpool, uh, this time he'll move up. He'll be a better player in Barcelona a, than he is than he was at Liverpool. And he was brilliant at Liverpool. I agree. He's the third best attacker in the world. Neymar, Messi, and Coutinho. And Coutinho wanted to play with his idol. That's Messi. You have to understand one thing, Thomas. Barcelona by attackers. Real Madrid by attackers. 
Spanish teams, they're going to buy attackers because they want to attack. They don't want to defend. They don't think about defending. So they brought the best, one of the best attackers that was on the it market. It certainly is. One of the things he's going to have to adjust to and one of the things he will have to learn is the Barcelona way of defending, which this Valverde has got them, as Thomas says, doing it in a different way with a wonderful balance in midfielders that are more athletic and less gifted than, than, uh, than, uh, than this player. So and, uh, and there's some going to really, be But changed. he's also the, the more yeah. ideal replacement. He's not like Neymar, but he's the ideal replacement for Neymar. You put Dembele down on that thing, you wouldn't take him out. What's Dembele, he so Dembele, Dembele well, what's started. He's still, okay? But he's still a big if, question if mark. If you go with moment. all your best players, either, and I already said it before, Rakitic is maybe having his best season in the top three well. players right now. Yep. Paulinho's great, Busquets, Iniesta. Two guys you're going you to take what, out of this lineup right. to but, accommodate Dembele but that's okay. and Coutinho. But that's okay because last year, Real Madrid, when they were all conquering, they had that competition for places. And we saw what it did for them that in the year before as well, where they were all conquering. It's great players keeping great players out, raises the level. Have Real Madrid got that? They don't. This year, that isn't there. But, uh, I know we're talking about Coutinho and Mario, but th this situation with Real Madrid, the, you see the other side of the coin. He doesn't have a bench he can trust. He doesn't have players that can come in and keep the maintenance of a high performance. He's got them now, and he's, this isn't finished. And come the summer, I think there'll be two or three other big, big names right. arriving. On, on that point, a Real Madrid Gal 11, a lot of people will not probably even put Isco on it. Isco is maybe the second best player in 2017 behind Messi. Sure. Same thing with Coutinho. You find a way to slot him in. He's going to play somewhere. Dembele, to me, is still I a agree. massive question mark. He has to go instantly and, to the lineup. But Dembele, when Coutinho is going to play, he has his technique is like Messi's technique. Yeah. They talk the same language. So he's going to be playing all the game. Dembele is going to start. He's going to come off the bench. But like Ray said, they need a big bench. They need of a big course. bench. They have so many games. So Dembele maybe is going to suffer a little bit more, I think, out of all these players. Sure. If Suarez maybe is not scoring like it happened at the beginning of the year, someone else is going to play in this position. I yes. think it's yeah, good. Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. says, you know, that he can play in four different positions sure. as well, Very Thomas. So he's going to be having that I mean, versatility. Do we go back maybe to Xavi and Iniesta time with Coutinho and, 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 and Iniesta in there as well? You know, I, two think guys gonna, I think he's going to play on the left. Underneath Messi as well. That, maybe that, depends that's a good point. And by the way, he's wearing number 14, Duke oh, no. Cruyff. All right, Rip Johan Cruyff. That's a big number, by the way. Massive number. OK, let's move on to talk about Real Madrid then, seeing as though we've been touching on them. They dropped more points in their first Liga game of 2018. And in the 17 games they've played in La Liga so far, they've somehow ended up 16 points behind Barcelona. Mm. Now, granted, they were up against a Celta side that we know are battlers. They'd already played in the Copa del Rey against Barcelona, albeit a Barcelona reserve team they got a draw in that one and they got a draw in this one as well there was no bail he was injured no carvajal no sergio ramos oh, look at this sorry sir, no benzema bail came on because benzema was injured look in at this, this game goal. but this goal from daniel vass started the proceedings there was uh, there was way too much to attack in this game for celta vigo real madrid should have known better the, the, the warning signs were out there after this team played against barcelona and ran them down to the wire this was a dangerous day Dangerous side. Uh, Real Madrid started out very, very well uh, and, and had some good performances defensively. And they were missing some big players as well. But no excuses. This team has got real problems now. I honestly felt as if Zidane uh, would get these players, the players, back up to snuff and really start playing at their operatic high note. It hasn't happened. And Benzema, Cristiano, they just. You, you couldn't find them with a search like they were terrible. Or maybe they deserved to actually a loss because it might have been a second PK on, yes. on, on uh, uh, God, really on, uh, Aspas with Marcelo. And, and, and Navas comes off his line. He's on the six-yard right. line when a PK yes. is being uh, taken. Maybe According should, to the rules, it should off. have been re retaken. But you know what? Zidane has become a guy that I look at and go right now, you've lost my confidence yeah. because it's all positive. We Guys. don't need players. Come on. You can't continue Let's to say that. Okay, but let's know one thing. In, 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 in Spain, two teams win the league. One's Barca, one's Real. You, Real's not going to win every year. No, no, or no. it's going to be Real or Barca. But they're what, been, what, they're what, very what sloppy they, this year in the, the league, sure. but not in the Champions League no. or in the World Cup. 
Well, but I mean, what's, about the what's the boss going to do? Coming what's up with the their... boss going to do? I mean, it's reached the point now. He's trusted these players too much. I, I felt as if it was the right thing to do. They're not responding. He can't look at his bench and say they're in now because I think they'll they'll raise their performance. That's not happening. He won't take Cristiano out. He took out Isco in a game where Isco was the best player in a Real Madrid shirt and was still providing the threat. Nice. I mean, oh, yeah. it, 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 that, this problem for me, well, Matthew, it's a, it's Benzema a, <laughs> is, is another yeah. one. He didn't play, of course, but Zidane now has got to be harsher on these star players. Yeah, but he the, does. The last two games, two halves, Jekyll and Hyde, right? Real Madrid in the second half especially, really laying Seen down a goose egg. But, right, it's not, it's not a mathematical formula. Ronaldo has four goals on 83 shots. He's scored a goal a game in his entire Real Madrid career. Is it a coincidence that a goal a game has led to all these titles? And the year that he has as many goals as a center back from Alaves is the year that Real Madrid are 16 points behind Barcelona. I, I, I put down S too, too many stars out of form, lack of fitness, no impact from the reserves and poor game but management Ma by Zidane Marcelo, as well with, with, his, with his goal. Marcelo says we're doing all we can, it's just not going right for us. Are they doing all they can? They're doing what they can, but like I said, from August or September, they're missing two key players that were on the bench last year and Man. they're not there no more. Right, they're the scoring 35, so. 31 goals and 50 assists, something like that, right. no, 20 assists. That's Morata and Rodriguez. So when they, because like the, the Celta game, when they had problems, 2-2, yeah. you put on Morata and Hamas Rodriguez right. and they scored exactly. and resolved the game. So no one says anything, they, 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 they you get the three them. points. They didn't replace they didn't them. Replace they they so brought in Mayoral who plays in the no, Pitaya, right? No Mariano, by the way, another guy they like go, is now scoring goals okay. game at Lyon. Yeah, and he's seen in Ligon, he's he been brilliant. Decent. Yeah, but now we're looking at a Zidane situation where there's a problem. There's a big, big problem. I think their, their most fervent fans, the Madridistas that had full faith in their team and in the manager, uh, are looking at this but now. Have, Something right? has got to happen. Ray, you, get, you, get a, you get a number nine and a number ten, everything finishes. Everything finishes right. and everything changes. Believe me, that's what they need. A bench, a striker and a number ten. When he, they have problems, they, they say change. they don't need anyone. Right. He's saying, uh, no. he's literally right. saying we don't need to and be the he doesn't he need a better. goalkeeper. That's for damn sure. Right. And that's the one that's they most a, They will have a tough time breaking the top three this year, I you think. You guys have to understand, <laughs> a coach that has won everything in the last two and a half years with this team is never going to say on TV, no, say I want one. someone. Because no, you're going to sure. die with this team sure. like he will do. But it's not like... We've got to move. We've got to go to a break. president and him have got to have a meeting. have a little Oh, well, OK, yeah, we'll we have some fun with what were you thinking when we return. We'll also turn our attention to the Serie A title race. You can talk about Real Madrid in the break. <laughs> Our new segment, What Were You Thinking, proved to be a success in its first week, so we've decided to make it a regular fixture on Monday, so it's time for this week's What Were You Thinking? What were we thinking? <laughs> All right, Thomas Rongen, Alex Cordats against his own coordination in the Milan Crotone game. I mean, oh. that's, that's Walter Zenga like. A little bit. Sorry, Walter, you have Crotone right now. You played for me. And that's the only way, by the way, Bonucci's going to score this year. <laughs> <laughs> so a double whammy. Wow. It's like a block shot in the NBA. <laughs> so it's true. Ridiculous. You're right. Hey. Terrible. You know that celebration? Chacuata de la Boca. Ah, uh, Chacuata de la Boca. Next up, Matteo Bonetti, we are staying in the Serie A. Tell us. This is shocking fair play in the Cagliari Juventus game. There was an elbow by Benatia on Pavoletti's head. Not only did the referee not whistle, but Juventus went and scored a counter attack and scored. Play should have uh, uh, been stopped. Yes. By the way, Bonucci, same elbow. Guess what happened? He got a red card and suspended for two games. Nothing happened to Benatia. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They didn't go to VAR. It should have been a red card right. offense. They should have done that stupid little rectangular shape, and nothing was Every good. player that gets, like, head in the head goes All down. All right, Ray Hudson, Whistle. Ruben Duarte. No, Ray, what was this lad thinking? Uh, Ruben. Look, he goes Ruben. down, and everything. He's down, his, his face is in the... But then, I'm looking at this game. I didn't see the actual innocent and when he stood up I thought it was his hairstyle <laughs> no, no, like it, Thomas it, yeah what was he th I'm thinking what's he thinking with that hairstyle look <laughs> I mean it looks good it's a frosted <laughs> look what is it? and it looks absolutely brilliant the hairdresser must have been saying what were you thinking how Ruby 
but it's just paint <laughs> off the ground. Okay, Christian Vieri, Diego Costa against the referee. I want to ask referee. you guys one thing. What was this ref thinking? Yeah. He was, a, I think it's just the worst ref mm -hmm. in the history of football worldwide. <laughs> and what happens? He did the worst thing. He sent Diego off after oh, he scores no. and celebrated with his fans. It's five meters behind the goal. Yeah. Referee, you know you gotta you know you gotta do, you gotta think of something good. Resign. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you say, what did you say on Twitter? Horrible? Horrible pathetic. Yeah. I know. Come on, come on. Really and I, and I was nice, eh? Great. Go on here. Be strong. Come on, give me another word. The come referee. on, Bobo. Come on, no, Bobo. From, from Go me. home. <laughs> Second yellow card. The referee wasn't thinking. Okay. Well, Diego Costa certainly made his mark back in La Liga. Yeah. In Italy, it was an excellent round of Calcio in the Serie A at the weekend, but Inter dropped points and Roma also lost. Napoli and Juventus both won their games. Now there's eight points between second and the chase impact. So are we definitely looking at a two-horse race now? Yes, and you know what the funny thing is, Kay Murray, everyone every single year desperately wants to write off Juventus. They want a new challenger. They want a new Scudetto. Juventus is going to win the seven straight Scudetto. They're going to do it. <laughs> Napoli's going to have an inevitable collapse like they do every year. Roma's having their inevitable mid-season collapse already like they do every single year. And Inter, who got lucky, by the way, in the first few months of the season, We're winning ugly, Napoli, winning man. by a goal. Napoli's going to... Chino, or whatever <laughs> you would tell win this drink. Napoli's going to win? Napoli's still going to win. Napoli, yeah. come on, you. It's going to be They have the players that know what it's yeah, like to win. They're going to do it again. Go on this weekend. Go on to this weekend. Boring, boring. Sa on. Sarri did a great job. By the way, Napoli comes back. They're down and show a little medal as well. You totally. know, I wasn't sure if they if they have that. Can they do it against Juve, though? That's the most important now, thing. I go with you, Christian Juve. Christian Vieri, on the show that we do on a weekend, you'll remember, Thomas, he went out and said, Napoli are going to win the school. Yeah. And then in the same show, he said, actually, now I'm going to change my mind. Juve are going to win the Scudetto. And then it was a great weekend for Napoli. So we were asking you, who do you think I is going to win the Scudetto? If there one point difference and there's five games to go, that's when that's when you, that's when it's it tightens up. Yeah, that's when it tightens <laughs> up and Napoli <laughs> have to win because they're not used to winning the last three, four, five games to win the Scudetto. Juve, yeah. since they were born, the teams Defense. No, yeah. the end of the They're day, used to playing these games. I want to see the last three, four, five games, yeah, maximum five think? games, where they are, and we're going to see if Napoli the, can cope with the pressure. In my opinion, this is the last season Napoli can win the Scudetto. Their biggest stars are getting older. Dries Mertens now is into his 30. Insigne is getting astronomical offers every single year. Napoli aren't a team that can go out and buy a 100 million euro player. They're going to lose these stars, whether through age or through the transfer market. This is the best current group I think they could ever assemble. Qu if they don't do it this Question. year, they'll talk about it for the next 15 Question. years, by the way. The Dybala injury, which might be longer than we thought. Month, month, how, month and a that, half. How is it? Month and a half, exactly. It's 60 days. Uh, no, 40 45, days, whatever. Right? You know, how, is gonna in, how is it going to influence you have, Juve? You have Costa. Mandzukic. Mandzukic. Bernardeschi. Biggest Quadrado number nine Costa. in Italy, right. Iguain. Bernadeschi, Douglas Costa, yeah. Quadrado. They Costa play, they play, on, on Thomas, the as well. they're playing like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they keep the zero. With the cigar they're playing. You got hey, Chesney, Chesney, by, the way, way, by the way, <laughs> hey, by the way, Chesney might have won that oh game for you, man. It was amazing. unbelievable. Amazing. They already have the goalkeeper for the next 10 years. Yeah, yeah and Chesney, that's and why he signed. But uh, one last thing on that point, Thomas, is that Juventus, every single week now, even without Dybala, they played exactly as good. Yeah. If you put him on Zukic, it's like they're playing in I've 12. I've Juve. They're you don't fine. They're fine without Dybala. Con convince Ray Hudson. It's Ray Hudson. Yeah, yeah. I'm sticking with Napoli. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you what, there'll be a big <laughs> test this week, and Matty will be doing the game, I hope, and I'll be watching it, I hope. Which test? Uh, against Atalanta. Who? Napoli. They play where at Atalanta. Whoa. Oh, 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 and I think then I, oh. you guys are going to eat that. What do you call it? That Paneto cake that you eat? Panettone. 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 You're all going to eat the panettone. Not me, Ray. I'm with you. Okay. Top goals when we come back. We've got some beauties on the way. Stick around. You are watching the locker room. It's time for our top goals now on the locker room. It's a mixture of goals from Italy and Spain this week, all chosen by the panellists. We will start with Matteo Bonetti, who's gone for one of the underdog sides, Benevento. Let me, let me tell you the tale of Massimo Colda. His first goal this season was Benevento's first win. This is what he did in his Woo! second game in, in as many weeks. 
this absolute beauty right here cuts it onto his uh, left foot blast into the top corner he had two goals and an assist second consecutive win on the day of the Befana the oh. witches can't stop winning the uh, Torino Bologna we head to next Thomas for Mbaini Yang Mbaini Yang I mean no what a composure the cut back is goal. beautiful by the way Falcao with the, the assist great run great recognition this is brilliant defender where are you going goodbye thanks for shopping Whoop. thanks for coming exactly Bobo Vieri Whoop. that's it <laughs> Nice That's a stuff. Goal. Okay, Bobo Vieri, Daniel Vass, Celta. This is the best goal in the last 10 years. Look at this. Ah, come on, Bobo, <laughs> last 10 years. <laughs> Look at this. Shoot. One thing is when you score against little teams. One thing is when you score against a big team. The stadium's packed out. You're in front of the goals, and you just chip the goalkeeper. You need technique here, my friends. Me and me and me. Where is he? Is he German? Danish. 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 Because was bist du? You know yeah. what was means in German. Yeah. Yeah. I told him What's up? Yeah. <laughs> That's What's exactly up? it. Ray Hudson, what is a Bill Derby this time? This was? is my type of goal. Watch the prettiness of the interplay between these players. Lovely kissing, dripping honey on it, setting each other up, and then the late arriving uh, uh, Dumisi hits it home. But look at the construction of it. They take the time, they don't bang it into the mixer like you would in England. They play it, they wait for the exact moment. There's the late arriving run, and then Buddha Booze sends it on its <laughs> way, and that's a fabulous goal by Demisi. Look at this one, Buddha Booze, Buddha Booze. Puts it in, and Kiki Setien has got them playing. I will take all of here. your goals, and I will raise you a Luis Alberto, the opening goal for Lazio against Spal. Look at this, settles nice. it with his first oh. touch. Lovely. And does that's all it. the work first he needs to do. Any work. arguments? No, no, no that's that's okay. It's the first goal you've Very chosen pretty. that's good in the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous that you didn't get the best goal this week. That's what you are jealous for. Okay, so that was our top goals of the week. Any bold predictions from our panel after a brilliant week of football and some moving and shaking in that table? Atalanta 2-0. Wow! Oh. I guess not. Oh. That's a bold right. No. <laughs> He's You're not going to go for your Newcastle in a bold prediction? Newcastle to beat Chelsea yeah. oh, in nice. the FA That's Cup. a miracle. Nice, nice. It will be a miracle. Boys. I don't believe it. Here you go, Kay. This is for you, a women's national team jersey. Oh, wow. right. More trophies than any other team in the world. World Cups and Olympics. Wear it proudly, Kay Murray. Here Thank you go. Thank you very much. We got Ooh. burglarized and I lost this US shirt. Oh, so did you? I get it again. Thank this you very nice. much. Nice. Okay, nice. okay, my double netty. Middlesbrough to win the championship and get back up to That is bold, by the way. Got a little bit of a bigger size for Kay, to be honest with you. To be honest, just a little bigger size. That's just all. Really, I'm Ray? Really, no. Ray? You'll fill it out <laughs> nicely, Kay. No. Hey, I've, I've, I've seen you in Middlesbrough. I'm going to have to put up with. See you next time. See you on Look Friday. Well, baby. Woo! What are we going to eat again?